Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with F My Gaming. I am Levi and I will be your nether Whoa Nether Nether Guide Nether Guide I I guess I guess you can call me your nether guide. Whoa hello there Blaze. I'm gonna take out our super sharp sword. Oh god we're on fire. I don't like that at all. Take him out, hide in this corner. We don't have a bucket of water. Fire went out very quickly, thank goodness. I'm gonna wait for our life to go up a little bit. There's probably a blaze spawn around here. Yep, there it is. Oh, I've been here. I know where this is. We're just gonna mark this by taking a corner out. A little hole. Um, come at me, Blaze. Oh, where'd he go? He's gonna like come up behind me and be like, Hello! I'm gonna be like, No! Don't you do it, Blaze. Don't you do it. Oh, there's two Blazes down there. Um, 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 kinda wanna go down there. Well, I was. I was, just, I was just down there. Let's go up here. Go up these stairs. Um, break this out and then get this glow that's just chilling up here. On the roof, I suppose this is. So we are on top of the fortress, and right now I just want to get out. We, our goal, our current objective, is to GTFO and not die. All right, so that's that's what we've got to do. So we basically got to file. Oh God, oh God, so many pits everywhere. This place is so confusing. So there's gonna be a staircase up here, right? No, where are we? Where are we? Dead end. I remember being here. I remember that being a dead end. Let's get some watermelon. I think. How are we gonna get out of here? I could have sworn it was back there, but those are both dead ends. Here's the place I broke out. That is a lot of lava. I don't even want to risk that. Okay, we're going up. So we're gonna go on the roof here. Um and 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 um 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 Okay, we're gonna go we're gonna go over here. If we had a staircase over over here. What? Get on here and then get down. There you go. So so that's a hole that goes through the middle. Let's see what coordinates are we at. I believe we need to go to um, negative 140. I believe it was. So we need to go that way and this way, a long way. So let's first get on this correct coordinate. Um, so we're gonna go this way until we get to 40. I I, I sure to hope it's 40. And we got fortress underneath us so we're gonna go here a long way this is gonna be a long journey guys so get get ready for this long journey it's kinda like when you're taking a car ride and you know it's gonna be somewhere 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 like really good like you're taking a a trip to Disneyland but you have to drive there and you don't live in the same state and you don't live on the east coast where states are like you throw a ball across the state okay they're not that small I'm sure okay um, but I live in Oregon, and I've taken road trips down to California before, um, down to like southern parts of California, and it just takes forever. I took a, a road trip from 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 where I live down to uh, to Stanford because I was, I was visiting Stanford because there was a school I was considering going to, and it took forever. And, and I didn't drive then, and so I didn't get to drive. I just sat in the back seat the whole time. Actually, I might have drove for part of it, because I believe that's when I was getting experience for my permit. Um, but yeah, it was it was a long, long trip, and that's kind of what we're doing here. But except for except for this is like you got to Stanford, and you're like, oh god, this place is on fire. People are trying to kill me. Let's get the hell out. Like like you took a road trip to the ghetto, right? And 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 you just go down the street, and people are eyeing you weird, like. I don't think I like you very much, and like, uh, yeah, is that a gun he has? I think he's, I think that's a gun. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a gun. And so you're like, oh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. And then you just like, like, your car is literally like, um, like one of those electric cars that goes like 10 miles per hour only. So you're just cruising out of the, 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 the these ghetto suburbs, and people are just eyeballing you, and, um, and you, I don't want to do that. And it's just like horrendously bad and you're like oh I can't wait to get out of here that's basically what's going on with this trip um, except for except for um, we're not in a car and we have to dig our way out so this is like this is like 
um, let's see, if, if the ghetto, if the ghetto suburb I'm talking about was put under, um, was put under a lot of dirt, and this just pissed off everyone even more, they're like, I don't like this guy, and I'm angry because my house is now under this red stone that, um, just won't, won't go away, and it's really easy to break, and catches on fire and just doesn't quit, even though I'm sure the bums are quite happy about that, um, because their their barrel fires will last forever because they just had to light one brick of ground and be fine. Um, this is the right way, yes. I, I hope this is the right way. If I got the cord the coordinates backwards, um, it'll, it, might, it might be frowned down. Um, so yeah, we're basically in hell and we're trying to get out and, and we just feel super bad about it. And um, we're all alone. We hear we hear the weird slimes and weird floaty creatures in the sky kill, trying to want to kill us. That's like that's like um, the evil corrupt police force in the helicopter. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, and their helicopters are just like running around. Oh god, that's lava. Let's take a side step here. <laughs> just a little side step. See what's going. Oh god. God. This place looks familiar to me, though. I feel like I've been over there before. So that's a good sign. That is sign bueno. So let's try and make a staircase down here a little bit. And 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 now, now our our tire went flat, and uh, we have to ask someone for help. Except for everyone looks so unfriendly, so you don't want to ask anyone. And then you finally ask someone, and they're like the worst person you could have asked. You should have talked to the guy that you're originally stereotyping as being a terrible person. Because they're probably very nice. Because um, they're probably used to that and, and, and all their crap. Is this remotely where I'm going? Yes, I believe this is still the correct direction. Hello, guys. How, how's it hanging? And you, that's where you go to the gas station. And, and just like all these shady people around and like are they gonna attack me or not um, I, I sure hope they don't attack me um, I'm only carrying 20 bucks oh god oh god oh god oh god let's find another way around find another way around and this is like when you're playing Oregon Trail and and you gotta cross a river and it's either like fjord your um, wagon and float the river or find another way around or pay the Indians to let you use their bridge because the Indians are already capitalizing on their own land um, and making you pay um, yes casinos fireworks etc etc um, whatever fine it's, it's fine it's fine guys okay this is still the right way good so let's keep going this way for a while Oh god, no! No! Uh, I'm gonna place another one of these. And we're gonna place some of these. And we're gonna place some of these. We're gonna like that. And we're gonna go like uh, that. We're gonna like this. And we're gonna like, ah, oh, I want my sticks back. Uh, screw these. Screw that. Screw that. Um, and then we're gonna change our inventory around. Or inventory around. There we go. All right, we're on our way. I don't even know what I was talking about. All right, yes, we have to we have to pay the Indians to get across their bridge. Um, however, this time the Indians are not are not people who just hunt and try to have their own peace and stuff. Instead, they are uh, are giant pools of lava. No, they're not the giant pools of lava. Uh, they're the they're the zombie pigmen that are just kind of like chilling around. But they're zombies, um, which I'm not sure how I can like come into contact with them and not become a zombie myself maybe maybe it's not not um, uh, uh, an airborne disease or anything maybe it's more of a, um, uh, a saliva thing so if I start making out with one of them I would become a, a zombie maybe where am I where am I um, I believe we're almost there hopefully hopefully we are almost there guys because this is becoming the world's longest analogy and I don't know how much longer I can keep it up it's kinda okay I, I sh probably shouldn't get it offensive and I see a torch down there so we're in the relatively correct spot uh, 
um, but yeah, the world's longest um, 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 analogy. It's kind of like the, it's kind of like when you were um, um, having a, a communism and stuff, and then sometimes people would be like put in, like made refugees, and they would have to like march like everywhere, and everyone always hated it because their feet got sore, and it was really t oh god terrible thing I did not <laughs> judge that very well but we're, we're back for the most part we're gonna eat this watermelon in peace um, in peace just like when you cut a watermelon into pieces it's in peace um, no completely different type of peace Let's see where are we going oh it's over there yeah freedom I see it. it's so close let's just not step in the lava it's like when you're going through a, a, a place that used to be a civil war and, and you gotta make sure you don't step on landmines. Yeah, god, this, this analogy has just gotten so brutal and so political and so... I don't, I don't know what else we're gonna... We're just gonna chill here and... Oh, oh god, we're warping somewhere! Oh no! Well, yes! We got our way out, guys. Guys, that was the most successful trip I've ever had to the nether. I'm not gonna lie. That was... That was genius. We didn't even die. I'm happy we got out. We're underwater. And it is daytime. Zombies are all frying their brains out. And they skellies. Oh! oh no! Oh no, the zombie's gonna get me! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Never mind. False alarm. Just a pansy who burns because he doesn't wear sunscreen. Oh, oh, hey look, there's zombies under there, over there, under the trees, from the, waiting from, the, or hiding, not waiting, hiding from the sun. Hey guys, zombies, oh, he's burning, never mind. It's gonna bait him into the sun and laugh at him. Oh, hey look, a skelly over there, not a skelly, a creeper, silly me. There we go, let's go get some more, no, let's drop off our supplies first. First of all, drop off our supplies. Up. Uh, and I'm out, and I'm going over here. Nope, going to this one first. Because this is where another rat goes. We're going to dump it all in there. We got this, we got that. We got, I'm going to put another stuff all in here. Lots of freaking glowstone. Four stacks of glowstone dust. That's nice. That's what? 64 blocks? Nice deal. We're going to drop this in here. We're going to drop everything but one of those in here. Because we're going to use it right now. Right now to make our... Or, uh, or, uh, or stand thingamabob. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm going to call it from now on, or stand thingamabob. Um, I kind of need to move... The no, I like this home. This home is really nice. I don't know if I want to use the other house for what. I probably should use it for something. But for now, I'm going to... Make a brewing stand. Yes, I got a brewing stand. Let's put it over on this side. What do I do here? I gotta make glass bottles, I believe, and I got to, um, I gotta, uh, get some more iron ingot out of here, and we got to make a cauldron, we don't got to, we have to, I don't, <laughs> I honestly don't know what you do with the cauldron, I don't know what you do with any of this stuff, really, so we have, do we have glass, we've got glass, don't we, yeah, how do we make, no, I don't want to sleep, I wanted to, Oh, glass bottles. Got it figured out the first time. Let's just make nine of these or so. Glass back in here. Go over here to our brewing stand. I really probably should put that one like on a table. Hmm. Can I can I move it without breaking something? I sure hope I can because I'm trying it. Nope, it breaks. It breaks for good. Good to know. Good. Good to know. Good to know, guys. Good to know. So we're going to put that there. And then we're going to come down here. Um, and get another freaking blaze rod. It's what jerks. They don't tell me those things. And we're going to go up. And we're going to uh, craft another one of these bad boys. And we're going to put it on the table this time. I'm gonna put some bottles in. Uh, I have no clue. Anymore. I feel like I'm, I'm that picture with that dog with the chemistry thing. And then it's like, I have no clue what I'm doing. That's literally what I feel like I'm doing right now. Like, I have no clue what I'm doing. Let's go get some water. Um, yeah, let's get our glass bottles here. We're just gonna scoop up some water. Ah, all the water. 
explore. Can I? Whoa, you can drink the water. Does it actually do anything for me? Do I have to like do I have to like use the restroom every once in a while now? It's like a counting up of of, of your piss level. How much you need to piss? I don't know. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna just experiment with random crap, I suppose. I've um, got spider eye. I believe spider eye is used in here. Um, so we're gonna. Oh, oh, it's so fancy. It's so fancy. Me love long time. Yeah, see, see, yes. Me love this. Oh, it's like brewing downward. Oh my gosh, it's like a reverse oven. It's like a reverse oven, guys. Up. Oh, is it gonna? What's well, gonna happen? <gasps> what happened? Mundane potion, no effects. Cool. It doesn't do anything. Awesome. I love that. What if we put a mushroom in here? Does nothing. Can't even put it in there. What about watermelon? What watermelon juice? I feel like you should be able to do that. Um, so let's go down here and we'll get some of our uh, our, our our wart stuff and see if that's gonna do anything for us. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Wart. Nope. So our mundane potion. I wonder if we can do something with that. Let's take it that. Oh, that one's brewing. With just that. So let's just drink this potion. Yeah, drink that potion. It has no effects. That's like, that's when you're in Pokemon, you're battling, and it's like, it's not very effective. It's not very effective. It's not effective at all. It did nothing. It did not, didn't even do a single health point. Awkward potion, no effects. So I guess I'm supposed to probably put something else with that. Like that. What happens if I do this on top of it? Uh, bubble, 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 bubble. Yes, this is so exciting, guys. This is like the most most interactive brewing system I've ever played. Ever. Pfft, Skyrim. Pfft. This is just like amazing. Oh, potion of poison. Um, cool. Um, that is, that is, that is awesome. Um, it's a, a, a potion of poison. You know what, you know what I did with poison potions in Skyrim? Yeah, you're supposed to like go in and pickpocket and sneak up behind the bad guy and put it in their inventory, whatever, and it poisons them. You know what I did with them? I sold them because I'm just too lazy to do that. I'm not, I just don't want to kill them, right? Like, what's the point? It seemed really stupid to me. Why can't I do this? It's like, come on. Put another spider eye in it? No. So we got we got that the, the potion of poison, and it's super boring. So we're gonna put that all in there. I'll look up some crafting stuff later. Maybe I can do the ender pearl. Maybe not though. Let's go get let's clear out this watermelon over here. All this watermelon. Well, we, don't, we don't really care if we get all of it. We just kind of want to get most of it. Jump on that. Come back over here and deposit some of it because we don't need more than two stacks. And go back down into our storage system and we're going to dump off our nether items. What else can I dump off? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing can be dumped off. I'm stuck with it. Forever. Forever. Hmm. Can't redo that one. Okay, that's cool. Uh, do not have enough for that crap. Okay, that's, we'll, we'll ignore that for now. It's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll ignore it. It's completely okay. Um, and that, that's gonna, that's gonna wrap up this episode, I believe. So we got, so we got the, the, the nether stronghold, right? Um, which was like negative 400, 200, I believe, something of the sort. Yeah, um, which was cool. So we know what that is, and now we need to. What do we need to do? I already forgot. I think I need to find a stronghold in the normal world, which will have a portal that I can repair to go to the end or the ender or whatever they want to call it. I'm not sure. Um, where we fix a portal, or we fix a portal to get there, and then we fight a dragon to win, or whatever, I suppose. 
Um, so our path to to where will go to that stronghold, which will go to the portal. Um, what else? I already forgot. Are you kidding me? We're gonna mess with the potions some more. We might work on our house over there some more, our quarry some more. But really, what I do next is up to you guys. Um, those are just some ideas. If there's something you want me to see me do specifically, let me know. Um, this is meant to be a, a, an adventure series, so maybe you want me to go explore something. Oh, spider, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch, you. Yeah, that's right. You get one-shotted. Stupid spider, you piece of crap. You don't jump over your fence. Hup, dup, dup. That's a nice gate you have. Oh, don't care. Jumping over it. What a jerk. What a jerk. Are you kidding me? What a jerk. Let's kill this galley. This one too. Cause he's easy peasy to kill. So easy peasy. Launch that guy. Make him go flying. Like a firework. Alright guys, this is going to wrap up this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I sure did. That was that was quite an adventure we just had. Um, if you didn't see the other parts before that, I don't know why you're still watching it without going back and watching that. But I forgive you. You should go and watch them. I also have the Technic series, which is still going on. And also have a, a server that is up quite often. If you do not know what I'm talking about, go back and, and see what's going on. I didn't finish the house. I just realized that. I, for some reason, I thought I had finished it. But alas, I have not. Um, and that creeper wants to bring me a housewarming gift already. What a weirdo. Give me your gunpowder. We're going to go in here and go to sleep. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Take care. And uh, do something fun today. Okay? Goodbye. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did making it. If you could do me a favor and hit that like button, that would be great. Also, if you could go leave a comment, that would be tremendous. Also, if you go ahead and favorite this video, that would be extraordinary. Oh, and also, don't forget to subscribe. It's free.